Hey y'all, it's Duke Brutus in the cut. Um, haven't made no video, but this is my very first story time. I was gonna do a story time about like concert and celebrity, whatever. I'm not gonna tell you a story, that's not their business out there. So, this story time is how I came out. To the world to my friends and how i came out to my mom and for all y'all who don't know me personally i am bisexual i like girls and i like boys um so yeah so it was like i was like in an, what grade did you in the high school ninth grade when you freshman yeah i was in the ninth grade and i had like, really been like I was liking girls all my life, but I was like trying to hide it, you know. Like I was not trying to let it be like seen or known or whatever. And it's like the more that I hid it, the stronger the feeling got. So in my ninth grade year, it was just one girl. We was friends. I'm not gonna put her name out, but we was friends or whatever. And we had I had summer school because my algebra teacher had failed everybody who took algebra. And like it's like it was me, her, and this boy. We was like really, really close in summer school or whatever. And that's when you know we was just hanging out and like she was flirting with me and if she wasn't flirting with me i thought she was flirting with me like i thought she was flirting so i was like oh my god so then that's when like i had told my friends i had like the whole whatever and people started noticing it so i was just like you know what let me just tell everybody like yes i like girls I like boys too and at the time i had a girlfriend who like lived way in virginia and like everybody knew about her and um even though we never seen each other everybody knew that me and her was in that shit because i was posted on my instagram or whatever but we was like on and off because you know she was cheating because it was for freaking long distance so like i had finally opened up to the um to the girl and i had told her i was like look i like you whatever i told her my feelings i was like i ain't never opened up to nobody before and told them that i like the girl but she was the first person i'm telling so you know so she ended up was like she wasn't ready for no relationship this this day and all that kind of stuff so i was like that's cool that's cool and then as time progressed we became like the closest of friends like that's my nigga like shout out to her and that's my nigga she do she do really and like i like and she need everything i got her like i'm down for her for life like i was so scared i didn't want to come out to nobody because i didn't want nobody judging me and i ain't want nobody like oh she like girls mm, this is this is that mm, she but you know i didn't really care like but while I was like still in relationship with the girl, my mama still didn't know and I was hiding it and um one day I was asleep and you know remember how I told you I just had a girlfriend out of town and um the her name in my phone was my love with the world yeah, was my world was with the um website. freaking little world emoji or whatnot so i was sleeping call and my mama answered the phone and i didn't know she answered the phone she was like hello and the girl started talking i was like i didn't know so i guess the, i guess she had hung up so my mom woke me up she was like who is my world i was like oh my best friend what you mean she's like do you know what my world mean do you know what my world mean i was like yes she was like mm -hmm. so i knew my mom kind of had a feeling like i always knew that my mom had a feeling that i liked girls like it was obvious like in the apartment we was living in our walls were so thin our walls were thin like it was like my sister interrupted my damn video. Anyways, I always like my mama. I already know she always knew that like the girls or whatever. Like, cause the walls, if the apartments it was thin walls, and I was always loud, cause I'm a loud person. I don't be caring. And um, I know she be hearing I'm talking about, and she's always telling. Mm -hmm, I be hearing. I be like, I know you be cussing. I be hearing you cuss. So she hit me cuss. She, I know she knew that I like the girls, cause I'm yeah. You know, like it, it was nothing. Like it was, it was that. And like, so one day, okay, this fast forward to like 2016 or whatever. Yeah, and I had this girlfriend. And well, it was 2015, it's still December. And I used to always tell my mom to drop me off at her house. And I can't drop off at my friend's house, drop off at friend's house. And one day the girl came outside and she like, my mom, I know my mom knew, my mom just knew that that was my girlfriend. Like she wasn't no friend, like she's mom and I was stupid. 
and um one day like she asked me she was she took me outside because me she walked in and me and the girl on facetime watching this movie um mississippi damned or whatever and you know it's about like a girl and a gay and all that kind of extra nonsense so my mom took me outside and she was like um do you like she was like is there anything you want to tell me i was like no she was like i know what that movie about like, i know what the movie about too i done seen it before and she was like is this, are you sure it's something you don't want to tell me and all this kind of stuff and i'm like mama no and she was like you know if you need to tell me something you can tell me something and right then and there, I, I knew like she she already knew she was just waiting so it was like um, I forgot what day this was. I really forgot what day this was, but I just know we had went to a play. It was me, my mom and her best friend went to a play with her. And it was like prom was coming up and she was talking about how I was taking the prom and I was like, Yeah, I'll find out when I take them to prom because even though I mean honey ended up going to prom. But she was like, I like you'll find out when I take them to prom and I was like, just know it's gonna shock you. I was like, Yeah, you might be mad. So she her face was like And she, I was like, she don't want like nothing. So <clears throat> we got in the car. I went home from the play. The play was lame. It sucked. It was a low bitch play. I was so mad that I even went. And it was ghetto. And it was not even like playable. Like, like I don't understand like why. And she was like, um, she was like, Zaya. I was like, huh? She was like, now that she was question, you might get mad. I don't care. Da -da -da -da. And I'm like, I already knew it was coming. Like, in this class, because me and my girlfriend at the time had already been talking about how I was going to come out to my mama. And I was already asking people how I should come out to my mama. Like, I was like, yeah, like, take her out to dinner and tell her and all that extra stuff. And I was going to take her out to dinner that weekend, but she just had the room and asked me the question, whatever. And um, she was like, so what she said? I forgot. Yeah, okay. Anyway, she was like, I was losing Taco Bell drive through Taco, Taco Bell drive through y'all intro. I was halfway asleep. It's like 1 a.m. 1 in the morning. And she's like, is there something that you want to tell me? I don't know. She was like, well, I was like, why are you asking me this? She was like, because I be seeing stuff. And I have been seeing, having feelings. And I have been peeping everything. I'm not dumb. You know, I'm not dumb. So basically, she was low-key telling me that she already knew. So I was just like, why? Why I kept asking her, why? Why are you asking me this? Why? What you want to know for? Why? 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 And she I was like, I didn't necessarily came out right to her. I had said something that triggered it. And I was like, um, I was like, because the reason I be want to tell you stuff because I don't got time for you to be judging me. And, and you don't understand. You don't understand. It's hard. Me trying to please you all the time. Me trying to please you. And I'm not, I'm trying to like fight the feeling because I know what I was taught. I know how I was raised. And for me to end up being like this, I'm going to be disappointed in me. You're going to hate me this is that. So that basically had to her that I so she had a whole thing. She was like, ain't nobody gonna judge you. I ain't gonna never judge you. I'm your mama. I ain't gonna ever judge you. Why would you think I do this or like that? I was like, I'm not trying to hear you, mama. I know you. Oh, look at my highlight. I like, I'm not trying to hear you, mama. I know you too well. I know you too well. You say you're not gonna do me, but lady gonna throw it in my face. Which lady she did when we got to an argument, she threw it in my face. But it was like a little or whatever. And she was trying to say that was the reason why I was feeling school. But it wasn't, and um, and she had met the girl who I had liked in the ninth grade. She met the girl when we had went out somewhere. She had picked her up, and she figured it in. She like, you trying to hang in this little circle, trying to fit in, da 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 da. But she was trying to really blame it on fitting in. Like I like, so if your parents like ever try to blame your sexuality or blame how you are on trying to fit in, I totally understand because they don't.